a big thing that we are hearing a lot about, especially like the stick and blade stuff, like a lot of y'all are going like, yeah, when, I, when I'm working stick and blade, I can't seem to get my blade into the fight because it feels too far, right? And the reason for that is because you're typically putting your blade in a hand that you're not usually using as a dominant hand, right? So if you're righty, typically your left hand, you don't feel it's as dominant as your right. In reality, it should be the same thing to you, right? You should be able to use them interchangeably. The thing is though, how do I coordinate my hands to do what I need them to do? How do I make this do something on its own? So you guys today, this is very high tech, right? It's using a ball, all right? So what you're trying to do is you're trying to create a rhythm and use this as a, a basically a skill developing tool. I mean, the next one you see a lot in FMA is what? What's the other structure you see a lot in stick and blade? And a lot of people have a hard time with that, right? Because when you see this, you see this in every Filipino martial art ever, because it's a good move. The problem is when you see this in actual sparring, you don't can pull it off. It's not because the move doesn't work, it's because they haven't trained their hands to move in that direction. It's a very unusual position, right? But it's a really good strong uh, deflection. So what we're gonna do right now, from here, okay, Okay, so let's see this. Okay, so I bounce it, I won, and then I catch it. All right, so I'm tr creating a rhythm here, okay? That's my line. So from here, I bounce it, and I catch it, making sure that I'm thrusting forward. Every single time I reach my hand out, it's sitting in that thrust. I don't want to grab it underneath because that's not what I do when I fight. So again, I'm going one, catching it. 